here's the only song that you can sing. Just kidding. But that's what they say in the tune. It's usually one of the first songs fiddle players learn. A song that I hear a lot at uh, the Galax Fiddlers Convention, Old Time Fiddlers Convention in Galax, Virginia. Uh, during the fiddle contest, I hear this one every other tune, basically. This one's called Boil Them Cabbage Down, or Boil Them Cabbage Down. Uh, I don't think I've ever had boiled cabbage, so you'll have to let me know. Uh, not too bad. It's just very long. Um, the tab is, might send you through a little bit of a difficult time, but just take it nice and slow. Sing the words that are underneath, uh, as you play, and maybe that'll help too. You'll see that there's not a lot of four beat chords in this one. A lot of them are two beat, except for the very first one, okay? So we're going to sing the song and play the melody as well. After every single verse, though, we're going to go back to a chorus, okay? Make sure that you're always going back to that chorus box. After you sing a verse, go down to the chorus. Sing another verse, chorus. Last verse, chorus. There's three verses, a lot more online, but these are the three that I like the best, okay? One, two, three, and... When up on the mountain gave my horn a blow, thought I heard my true love say, yonder comes my bow. Boil them cabbage down, turn them whole cakes round. Only song that I can sing is boil them cabbage down. Possum in a cinnamon tree, raccoon on the ground. Raccoon says, hey, you up there, shake the possum down. Boil them cabbage down, turn them whole cakes round. Only song that I can sing is boil them cabbage down. Once I had an old gray mule. Slick. Roll his eyes and back his ears, how that mule would kick. Boil them cabbage down, turn them whole cakes round. Only song that I can sing is boil them cabbage down. All right, melody time. Bum, 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 bum. Nice, guys. 76. Dude, 72, though. So another one of these tricks where if I have a three and a zero on another string, and then I know I have to come back to the three, I'm just going to leave my finger down on the three. Same deal with the second one. I'm not gonna use my pointer finger though. I'm probably gonna use my third finger. So then that I can put my use my one easily there. Let's see if there's anything weird in the B. Keep that two down for turning them whole cakes around. Alright, let's do it nice and slow. Okay. One, two, ready, go. You could technically keep the middle finger in the second fret like the whole time or at least for the for the B section if I just kept my middle finger in the two except for the very last note right you could do that I don't know if that's a good suggestion or not but it does help you play those notes a little bit more connected instead of sounding It kind of lets you connect the notes a little bit more. You gotta hear, kind of hear the notes at the same time almost. 
Or you hear one ringing out while the other one's happening at the same time. All right, good luck with that one. Slow it down on YouTube if you can't do it. Uh, I think these videos are just kind of so you can hear the tune, how it should close to be blah, 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 the final product, a close to a final product. Um, if it's too hard, stop the video, rewind, work on small chunks, like we said in another video, small chunks, one verse at a time. Don't even worry about the words too much, right? Just worry about the chords, and then the poetry will come, right? When we can read the words, we listen to it enough, we kind of understand how it goes. Get the chords first. Okay. All right, boil the, that cabbage down. I'll see you next time.